And the fight against COVID-19 looks different all across the state. 22 News reporter Jody Reed is live in Boston tonight after speaking with a nurse at Brigham and Women's Hospital about the key differences between Western and Eastern Massachusetts. CR, we're seeing cases rise in some communities and fall in others, which means the health care needs differ by regions across the state. For example, in Metro Boston, the population is larger and they tend to live closer together, making community transmission more concerning. Luckily, Boston has several major hospitals that can treat patients, an issue that many in the healthcare field worry about in Western Massachusetts. What we're very concerned about is the closure of essential services. If people don't have the wherewithal to get healthcare, to get adequate testing, um, that is going to, that's not going to help people survive in this pandemic. On top of the closure of health care facilities in western Massachusetts, many communities in the western part of the state still lack access to testing sites. And that's an issue that both Governor Baker and HHS Secretary Mary Lou Sutters acknowledged and said they're hoping to address within the next few weeks. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Jody Reed, 22 News.